Marvelous Designer 2025.2 has just dropped, and it is packed with goodies that you will find interesting at least. You can now create things like armor pieces, animate inflatable garments, and import Unreal Engine metahumans directly in their native formats, in addition to other things. So let's see what this update is all about. First of all, this update introduces a super useful feature that lets you convert any 2D pattern piece into a rigid trim or accessory. In other words, you can take a cloth pattern and turn it into a solid piece of armor or a hard accessory instead of a soft fabric, since these new trims are treated as a rigid body, I mean in a simulation. They don't flop around. I think this is great for things like metal plates, buttons, or other hard surface details that you want to stay in place. This opens up awesome possibilities for designing full outfits with both soft cloth and firm elements together, all inside Marvelous Designer. I also want to mention that there is finally a dedicated pleats tool in Marvelous Designer 2025.2. This new tool takes the pain of creating those tidy folds and creases on garments, so you can now automatically generate knife pleats, box pleats, or even accordion pleats and adjust their number, depth, spacing, you name it and you can do all of that through an interactive interface. And the best part is that it is non-destructive, meaning you can tweak your pleat settings, and you can do that later without having to redraw the pattern from scratch. This is actually a huge time saver compared to the old manual method of pleating. And here's the thing, if you've ever tried to pleat a skirt the old way, you will know how big of a deal this is. Marvelous Designer 2025.2 also bring on physics and animation improvements. The update lets you keyframe a bunch of fabric behaviors that were previously static, so you can animate how tight or loose the cloth is. I mean, I'm talking about the shrinkage weft or wrap to dynamically loosen or tighten fit. You can also change its stiffness on the fly, or even inflate parts of the garment by pumping up an internal pressure value. Basically, you could have a jacket puff itself up like a balloon mid animation, which is super cool for creative effects. They also added a new tag feature, which is like creating temporary stitches or pins that you can animate. For example, one demo shows a character tossing a ball on a string and reeling it back using these animated tags, something that you could not easily do in Marvelous Designer before. All this happens right inside Marvelous Designer's simulation environment, so you don't have to jump up to another software to achieve these dynamic cloth effects. And when it comes to working with other software, this update also has our backs as well. So if you are using Unreal Engine's MetaHumans, you will love that this version now imports MetaHuman characters directly from a DNA file. You can bring a MetaHuman, dress them up in Marvelous, and when you set the clothes back out, it automatically fits the character in MetaHuman Creator with no extra tweaking needed. So it does all the work for you. Another welcome change is in the export workflow. Marvelous Designer can now export your finished garments to FBX locally, without forcing you through the cloud-based connect service. You see, in previous versions, you had to upload your garment to an online gallery just to download an FBX, which was a headache, to be honest. And now, you can just get your FBX directly on a disk, which is a change that eliminates a notorious bottleneck that has been a problem for many users for a long time. All in all, Marvelous Designer 2025.2 feels like an interesting update, which truly listens to the community's pain points and make this software look like it is making progress. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.